Hello and welcome to a new episode about XCOM 2. This time we show you how to save Steam Workshop mods and use them manually without a workshop. Doing this opens up the possibility to save and use workshop exclusive mods in your own mod list. Why you ask? Well, the problem with the workshop is that as a user you have no control over mods. If mod versions change or files get removed from Steam, they also get modified or deleted on your own computer. Regardless of the risk that safe games will no longer work because of this, it sometimes just makes sense to keep older versions of the mod around, because a new version may introduce new bugs or simply messes up mod compatibility. So that's why we will show you how to archive mods right now. XCOM 2 provides three methods to install modifications. The Steam Workshop, Mod Managers or the Manual method. We show you how this works in this video, click on the link to open it. Every time you subscribe to a modification on Steam, a copy of the mod is stored on your computer. In this example we subscribe to the EVEC R mod. Now we open up the workshop folder on our computer, meaning we navigate to the Steam folder and look for Steam Apps, Workshop, Content. Here it does get a bit tricky. Steam uses codes when handling games and mods. If you have several games installed, there may be multiple folders in here. We recommend to sort by modified date to find the game with the newly installed modification. Now we open that folder and we have the same problem all over again. All mods are listed as codes. Again sort by modified date to find the newly installed modification, it should do the trick. Once you have found the folder, open it up and check for the mod content. Often you can identify the correct folder by a file with the mod name in it. The next step is to copy the entire folder to where we want to save it. Then we rename the folder because we no longer need the code and we want to see what the mod is at a glance. Now you have two options. Either you put the folder in an archive to use it with mod managers. The Nexus mod manager for example uses such archives during installation. The second option is to simply copy the folder to the XCOM2 mod folder to activate it whenever you need it. Archiving mods this way opens up unlimited options to create your own mod packs or save them as older versions to use whenever you want, regardless of whether the mod is still present in the workshop or not. We hope this little tutorial helped you out, have fun with XCOM 2! The video description has more information and links and don't forget to thank the modders for their work.